run this prompt through eight different video generation model some open some not open some really best some really taking a lot of time and we're going to see a bunch of things one we're going to see how much does it take the cost for us to run the model on fal second we're going to see how much time does it take for the model to generate the video three we're going to see how good the model's video quality is with respect to the prompt the prompt has been designed in such a way that it is not easy for these models to generate video for the given prompt. So if you do not see a top notch quality, even from one of the best models, then it is because the prompt has been generated to keep the bar at the top. So I've made this video so that you can understand what kind of video generation models exist. Two, also, if you were to pick a video generation model for your own use case, you can pick the right model after watching this video. Lineup is kind of like the kind of the worst model to the best model, but it's not like exactly very strictly ranked, but you can kind of understand how does it go. So let's get started with this. As you watch this video at a given timestamp, if you find something interesting, please go to the comment section, immediately mention the timestamp and also mention what you watched so that it is easier for me to learn the feedback and then correct it or respond back to it. Let's get started with the video. The prompt is this, the tracking shot of a lone warrior sprinting across a fog shrouded battlefield. The camera follows closely, captures the dynamic motion as the explosions erupt around them. The warrior skillfully dodges falling debris and charging enemies. Their luminous sword cutting through the dense fog leaving streaks of radiant light with every swing. The camera views through the chaos, emphasizing the intensity of the scene. So the idea here is that the AI is, should be able to do a bunch of things. One, first of all, it should put a warrior there. Second, the warrior should have a sword. Third, it should follow the camera motion. That's why we are saying it's a tracking shot. We're going to start with a model called Cog Video OX. 5 billion parameter model. This is an open model and this one you can also use it for commercial purpose. So if you see this, this is the footage that you have got. I mean, it's good, but it's almost like a game video than a realistic video, despite me uh, not mentioning anything about it. So you can see the explosion is there. The warrior is running, but uh, the sword is like, it's like almost like somebody is wielding the sword. And uh, it almost looks like, you know, suddenly there is uh, like the shootout happening and a bunch of other things are happening. The camera tracking motion is good, but I don't think anything other than is good. Like if I show this to somebody, it might look like an amateur uh, videographers or editors work. This took 60 seconds, like one minute to run. And then this costs uh, 20 cents per video. So 0.2 dollars. So this is what this is. The good thing is this can be used for commercial purpose and you can also self host this model because this is an open model. The next one is we're going to use a system called T2V Turbo. This again, you can use it for commercial purpose, but with this model, while the model is good, um, one interesting thing is this model Cog Video X 5 billion parameter model generated a six second clip for this time, this model, <laughs> T2V Turbo, it generated a two second clip. It is currently running on A100 and um, you can just generally see what how much time uh, you can rent A100 for. So it took about two seconds for it to run and this is the clip. It's a two second clip. Once again, it's a very cartoonish clip. It doesn't have the realism. I did not specify it to have a cartoonish um, feel, but uh, yeah, you can see and kind of like makes sense what kind of uh, thing it is doing. The tracking shot is happening kind of, but because this is just a two second clip, we don't get to see a lot of um, a lot of information. Also, if you see the sword, like the sword is kind of like, you know, going in both the hands, double direction. So it's kind of starting to mess up with uh, how, you know, like the human anatomy or handling the sword part. But other than that, I like the warrior in this particularly, it almost looks like, you know, he's catching fire and then running. The next one is Hyper Video V2 model. Um, this is again, like uh, one of the best shots, I would say it's it's more like F FPV, like the first person view, but instead of FPV, it's like a shoulder camera. Like it's almost like the warrior is running and somebody is behind the warrior with the camera. And then that person is like almost like tracking. This 
this is almost like uh, i don't know if you have played like uh, the zelda game or if you have played any um, game like a counter strike and then there is a camera that is behind you the view is almost like that uh, the realism is almost like a game in this particular case a very assassin creed uh, vibe here um the explosion has happened kind of you can see like many a uh, smaller explosion or uh, the debris of the explosion is there so the debris has been captured and um, the the warrior charging is there but you don't you don't see like um, the warrior cutting through the dense fog nothing like this is happening like i would have expected something like this a eh, like this but nothing like this happened so but again it's a, it's a decent model 4 second clip it, 190 seconds it has taken and uh, finally it has uh, costed us a uh, 0.04 per second so because this is like a 4 second one you can basically calculate it's like 0.16 it's like 16 cents um if you were to note on this i'll actually put all these things at a table at the end of this video so you can just basically go see what video what model how much time and all these kind of metrics but for now if you were to see i think this is much better than the three uh, the two other models that we saw the next one is called ltxv Uh, so the hyper model can also be used for commercial use but the ltxv model cannot be used for commercial use and this is honestly speaking one of the fastest models that you would see in our current uh, in the system that we have got the down the, on the upper side the model is really fast but on the down side you can see the model is almost like you know you have taken one of the oldest cameras like probably like 20 years old and you took the video camera and then tried to capture the hd image and then you have completely like zoomed in and then you are trying to see here it's almost like you are capturing like paranormal activity or something like that it's it's kind of weird um how good the model is supposed to behave but because we are trying to have like a tracking shot the model is behaving extremely poor so this cost uh, 2 cents 0.02 dollars and uh, it took 7.6 seconds for just 5 second clip we can play with the prompt in this model at least i think you can add more details like saying like okay there should be a human who is a warrior and then you can keep the camera at the back but for exact same prompt i this is almost like unusable i mean you can probably have it between trans transitions but this as a clip i don't see the warrior i don't see the sword it's very fast it doesn't capture only i think only part i can actually feel and realize is the explosion but everything else seems like kind of useless The next one is a very recent model from Tencent. Hun Yuan. This is a model from Tencent, China once again. It's available for commercial use. It's an open weight model. You can completely use it. In fact, if you consider it to be like uh, less than 100 million uh, monthly active users, then you can use it for commercial purpose. I think this model does a pretty good job. Once again, the physics is always a problem with the AI video generation model. You can see the warrior who is like a ninja um, can. immediately like with a couple of seconds being changed into like a, like a galaxy like a supernova or something so there is an explosion happening there is a warrior there is a sword the warrior is trying to cut through the fog but suddenly there is some magic happening it's like the diablo game is it called diablo yeah it looks like a diablo game and uh, the camera movement is there but instead of like having like a tracking shot instead of the warrior running through this it almost looks like you know like there is a warrior there and then he's trying to like go circle around i don't know what you call this in videography uh, that's the only uh, issue so it's a 5 second clip took 225 seconds it costed 40 cents um, probably like one of the most expensive at this point so it costed 40 sec 40 cents 0.40 and um, yeah not bad uh, but it doesn't capture all the necessary details but because it is open model um, i hope maybe somebody would create a pipeline or a confue or a lora which can ultimately improve or put your own character there the next one is luma dream machine i guess this is an american company um with luma you can see the scene is quite vivid like the scene is quite amazing but the explosion is almost like diwali cracker like it doesn't look like explosion or a it's almost like um, in doctor strange when they try to travel through the portal what they create so the explosion is almost like that the explosion is not good but it captures the scene quite well so you have the fog you have the warrior and uh, you have the sword and the sword is like it's got like the glowing light there uh, so everything is good 
except the explosion and also the tracking shot. It doesn't have the movement. So like when I created this prompt, once again, I was like imagining running through, like having a sword, like, you know, I, I don't know how many of you have quest, but I've heard from people who have quest that there is a game, there is a lightsaber game. So you can splash through things. It's like a subway surfer, but for VR. Um, so it's quite amazing, like what it does with the image, the scene, but it doesn't translate necessarily into the video. But once again, like, I think it's much better than everything else. This is also available for commercial use. This created a five second clip, took 41 seconds, 50 cents, one of the most expensive uh, models here. The next one is Kling 1.5 Pro. Uh, probably, personally, I would consider this is either the best model or one of the best models available for video generation. I mean, you can see the details in here. So you can see the explosion available. You can see the warrior running. You can see the camera moving all around. In fact, trying to capture the warrior's face. You can see the sword. The sword is like glowing. You can see um, like people are there, like the enemies are there, the battlefield is there. Maybe we can like optimize the prompt to have the camera angle like quite um, controlled. But I would say like this is probably one of the best that you would see. Everything is so perfect. Like in fact, even the, the armor of the warrior is really good. Um, it's capturing all the details good. I don't know how much of sword like with the fire and all these kind of things work out, but everything else is like absolutely brilliant. I would say like if I were to rate this model um, on ELO rating or something, but I would say like easily this model is at the top of my ranking at this point until the final model word that we see. So this is the final model. This is Minimax or Halo. And um, I would I would still say the Kling is the best one for me. The good thing here is that it is a good camera of movement. Like if you see the warrior is running is kind of within the scene. But again, the explosion is kind of like a Diwali cracker here. So Diwali is an India festival. So where people crack crackers. And uh, this is almost like, you know, I've got like crackers around and then you, you are seeing somebody running around and playing like Hoko. So, but the sword is there, the warrior is there, but it doesn't have anything else that I expected out of this prompt. Uh, the camera movement is good. The intensity is, intensity is um, emphasizing, uh, being emphasized, but all the other things are um, kind of a dud. So if I were to pick the best model, I would pick Kling as the best model. It took 549 seconds. I think this has taken the most time, I would say, and it took 0.125 dollars. It's like 12.5 cents. So it's not very expensive, but Kling takes a lot of time. And good thing with Kling is also that you can do image to video. Right now, I just did text to video. You can do image to video as well with Kling. And I've heard from a lot of people that it is quite good. And again, with Minimax, you can do image to video. And uh, this model, particularly the text to video one, took 331 seconds and it costs again 50 cents, one of the most expensive ones. So if I were to pick my winner, I would honestly go ahead with Kling because it's not too expensive. It just takes a lot of time. So may not be a good idea for like some real time or near real time use cases, but for everything else, I would close my eyes blindly and then I would prefer Kling and with more prompt optimization for this model specific cases, this can be a much better model. But I've, I've been told that Minimax does a pretty good job with uh, camera movements and uh, everything else that you describe in instruction following. So maybe I could have played with the prompt more to get a better image with uh, Minimax. But uh, honestly speaking, I'm very happy. If you were to pick the image, uh, just the scene, uh, I honestly love what Drew, Luma Dream Machine has created as a with respect to the scene in itself. But yeah, uh, so it's not just enough, right? We are trying to create a video generation model. So Kling is my winner. Let me know in the comment section what you feel. I'll uh, put a table of all the models, the comparison speed and all the other things. I hope this video was helpful to you. I would have probably spent around like a couple of dollars, like the maximum, like I guess three dollars or three to four dollars. So I, I, ho I hope uh, the money that I spent and the effort that I put in crafting the prompt and then getting the final output is actually valuable to you. Let me know what you feel about video generation model. Do you have use cases for it? I've been recently talking to a lot of media companies and this has been one of their biggest asks to see if they can use these kind of clips as fillers, not necessarily like the actual footage, but mostly like fillers and then see how good these models are. See you in another video. Happy prompting.